Hey guys, I don't know if this is gonna show up right. The lighting might be off, but I wanted to show you a little bit about my yard. We've been trying to get it back together. It's been raining a lot. Uh, and I'm sorry I haven't made a video for a while. Things have just been crazy. It's like Memorial Day weekend and I took five days off. I have tomorrow off also. And I'm just relaxing and doing not nothing. Just cleaning the house and getting stuff around here done. I'm eating really healthy right now. Um, so I've been doing a lot of prep on that. And I'll try and make some videos and talk more about that um, later. But I wanted to show you some of the pots that I've planted and what we're doing in the yard because um, that's been the focus of a lot of work um, for spring and coming into summer. So I wanted to let you check here. it out. My yard is kind of tore up um if you remember there was a fire pit right there and uh, brett uh and we had some workers and brought they took all of the gravel out and the rock and the fire pit and brett has spent a lot of time opening up the woods and i'll show you that here in a minute sunny is ball crazy he cannot go anywhere without having a ball in his mouth and he just needs to be outside. It's been raining so much and this is newly seeded. Um, but we bought this, got this machine we rented and it cuts into the grass and it plants the seed inside the cut. And um, for those of you watching, um, this is another reason why I haven't been on for a while. Um, my hands got really bad. It was really hard for me to do videos. They started to get kind of shaky. And um, so I did go to the rheumatologist and I have arthritis in both of my um, thumb joints that's, you know, degenerative and I have a bone spur. So they did a cortisone shot and it's really, it is helping, but these braces, aren't they just gorgeous? I, I think they really go well with my nails. Isn't that nice? Hey Sunny. So my battery, I've charged it up a little bit. Well, hopefully that'll last us enough for this video. There was a hummingbird that was coming around. I got a couple baskets here at a local nursery. Um, and these will get really big and hopefully last a long time. Oh, there's the hummingbird. It's over in that basket. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Can you see it? Hi, little hummingbird. I'm sorry if I'm making you dizzy. He was uh, he was checking me out. There he goes. What a cutie! Oh my goodness! Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I love our little hummingbirds, and I just put out this um, new hummingbird feeder, and I had oh he's back. <laughs> I seriously had like five hummingbirds on it yesterday. And this one is new. But if you remember, I've got another basket outside my window. If you remember last year at this time, I was in bed after having a hysterectomy and I was bedridden and I had a pot like this outside my window and the hummingbirds would come every day like two or three times a day and they'd come right up to the window and it really helped me to get through that time when i just was so uncertain about what my health was going to be like and so the hummingbirds now are just so special to me and this one i mean it has come right up to my face and it is just really sweet so i'm going to show you some of the baskets that i've planted um, and I'll take you into the woods and show you kind of the idea. I've got a couple things that I've bought but I haven't planted yet. That's a miniature lilac. And then this is just like a, a grass. And I just love the contrast of this, um, for this plant. It is 
a golden mop. If you can see that, a golden mop. But it's got a really nice texture. I like that. Our ferns look amazing. My mother-in-law made that for me. She's doing these now as a side business. And it's a, a, a nice bird feeder. We just had a torrential downpour. So I need to rinse some of this stuff out. I haven't um, I haven't weeded. So, you know, there, I'm just trying to show you uh, and make a video before time goes by too fast. And kind of show you what we've got. Um, the beds, you know, we've did weed uh, uh, in the spring but now we've been focused on uh, this design and if you see out there there's a shed that we're building and it's gonna look like a little cottage um, it's gonna have a lean-to and a little garden shed I, I, I'm so excited so we've been working on that my husband found the design and he's been doing all the work himself he's gonna build the doors uh, so I just I'm really happy to kind of start getting stuff going outside. Uh, I did these pots and then I'm thinking of this jasmine going up this post and then I want to get a big bird feeder um, to put on top of the post. I just haven't found the right one, but I love, love, love jasmine. It's one of my favorite scents. And um, so I want to have some here growing. Um, we took all the rock that was out here and we are creating a border that goes around the patio so it makes a better transition into the woods and I haven't shown this area very much before because if you look there was all of these branches and it came out into the patio area and so there was just this little alcove air, area that you could get in but not opened up like this and um, Brett had a vision and he cut down all these branches trimmed stuff off the house uh, it was a big chore cut down a bunch of trees and then um, I I think I had talked to you guys before about uh, going through the back and making a little garden pathway, but now the pathway is going to be kind of through here. We're going to get rid of these stumps. These just got pulled. It is going to go um, follow the natural terrain, but what I think is going to happen is it's going to um, walk through. I've got this huge woodpecker. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope I can get it on video. This thing is like, oh, it flew away. But it is like a foot long and its wingspan is a couple feet. And it has been on my bird feeder a couple times today. And uh, it just, so I'm wondering if it's going to start uh, pecking on the trees because it could do some damage. So the pathway will come through here. There's this amazing stump. That bowl won't stay there, but he said it there thinking that maybe it would be a good idea or something like that to hold this it's a one of those concrete um, leaves pretty cool but I just love this old stump and it's um, we're gonna keep it all natural try and save as much of the ferns as possible and so the trail will come this will all be clear cleared up and this is gonna look it's gonna have two little windows with window boxes so it's gonna really look cute like a little cottage in the woods and the pathway will probably continue um, and go either through the back of this or um, it can cut off here and then it comes back around the other side of that stump So it will be, you know, a while before we get this done. But we're also thinking incorporating our fire pit because that was our fire pit. So we're going to like make, bring this out here because we don't build a huge fire and it's not going to catch the trees on fire here if we do something just inside the woods. So that is an idea too. But I'm really excited. Sunny just loves it out here. Everything's growing really well. Right? Where's your ball? Go get the ball. Go get it. Sunny's ball crazy. Here's a couple more pots that I'm working on. I got some extra flowers there. Planted this pot. And this one here. 
Oh, and then I bought this recently. I mean, my table, it has, I'm thinking about doing sedum, a sedum like garden kind of in this with some moss. And then I got this rock um, at one of the nurseries and it's got a sedum in there. I just like the natural look to it. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna put that out there, that little evergreen. But I wanna show you, excuse the mess, but I bought all of these sedums. Aren't they gorgeous? And so I want to have just the right thing to put them in. And uh, I think it might look really nice in that basket. I'll put them in there and I'll show you what, I th what I'm thinking. Okay, here's what that looks like. I'd fill it up with dirt and then uh, moss on the outside and then um, I would try and get that in there with it, but uh, it's pretty full, so that's probably going to be just about enough to really fill it out. What do you think? Cute, huh? I've had this for a while. I got it in an antique shop. I love old metal pieces, uh, and it's just sitting here, and I've been putting stuff in it, and this way it'll look really pretty. So um, Once I plant it, I'll let, let you see what it looks like. Have a good day, guys, and happy Memorial Day.